as the cars are heading out for day two of Show Me Rally. Day one was quite dusty on all of the stages. A lot of drama was unfolding, but Martin Brady and Seamus Burke had a few electrical issues and a nail-biting moment. Let's check their onboard camera and talk to Martin. 10 seconds. Stage two, Pandora 5 Weber. Going 150 to a square right. Five, four, three, two, one. Now go, 150. Open square right. Repeat, open square right. 70. Uh, on stage three, uh, about a mile and a half in, we had an electrical failure where just turning into a corner just as we were on the apex, the car died and all the power died, electrics, the whole lot. So we were very much in the pitch dark as we turned into the corner and the car was spinning and we didn't really know where it was going to end up. And Luckily Seamus managed to do the right things and it didn't end up in the trees because we were quite close to them. But we ended up backwards in a ditch and we were stuck. We got the car restarted and uh, the master, we think it was a fault in the master switch. When we got that turned back on and got the lights back on, we realised we'd ended up in the ditch with the rear wheels in the ditch. So we were stuck there for four minutes before we could manage to get the car out. But to be honest, you know, when it was happening, I would have taken that result, just been stuck with no damage. Then, you know, we lost a lot of time and it's dropped us to 37th overall. But there's uh, there's six stages today. We're going to try and catch a few seconds on each stage and try and get a little bit further up in the points. But it's pretty much taken the wind out of our sails for this rally, you know, because we were we were leading and having go, going well, you know, no issues. Everything just was, was going nice. We we're hoping to get some good points in the championship. I don't know if that's possible now, but... We'll see, at least we're still here. If we were still stuck in that ditch, we definitely wouldn't be getting any points.